fish. Say something. Hi. Just keep talking. But I don't feel like it. Yeah, just keep talking. I don't feel like talking anymore. Talk right this now. This is making me nervous. I don't this like this. This is a test for okay. the camera. Okay. See ya. Bye. Goodbye shop. We're headed to go fish with Mr. Jeffrey Creamer. Little Kim's looking good. All black. Ready for action. And we're taking the tundra, so hopefully we make it. And Curtis and oh, Jeff yeah. have been sitting in the truck for Just like, like three hours. Unattended pets. No windows rolled down, nothing. Yeah, so we're gonna drive now. Goodbye, people. This is Jeff Creamer in his natural environment. It is, it is true, we're pretty going for the caffeine. We showed, I much in three days. We showed Jeff what Maverick was last time out and he's never been the same. They don't have these in Ohio. Jeff's riding shotgun back there. You're riding shotgun. I'm, uh, yeah, he's riding. He's riding. In the little kid shotgun. seat. <coughs> We're loaded to the max. We'll see uh, how far we get. Cheech is kicking us out of the vehicle. Mostly because three guys in that. Those rocks. We weigh this thing down. We're not the smallest dudes. So even with one guy, it's get a little sketchy. Like that. Wait, I think we could just get up there faster if we walked. There's spruce moths everywhere, so that could be decent. We'll give it a try. Two casts in. I don't know what Curtis is doing over there. Corn-fed caddis, and the spruce moths are coming off like crazy. It's a real pretty fish. Dry fly eater and a brookie. I didn't get any of the lead up, but uh, the fish are killing these spruce moths. Not a very big one. It's much bigger than the one Cheech just caught. <laughs> Deploy automated net system. Little rookie on a dry fly. Spruce moth. Goodbye. Dang it, I thought I had a thing recording. These spruce moths are everywhere. It's like my first cast after I dressed the fly from the last fish. Unacceptable. There he is. Little splake. So we got a few on spruce moths. Now it's time to really fish for them. I'm gonna throw on the parabolic line. I've got this crazy booby looking pattern. If they're not gonna eat that, I might as well just go home. So let's see what happens. Curtis is over there in green boat. Creamer's over there in the scout. And not a dang thing's happening. Curtis is casting both hands. Just disturbing. Alright, we, like Cheech said, we 
ended our run of dry flies and switched over. I've got a midge tip line on. And this was my first cast. And he took this little calabatus pattern. Nice little brookie. Okay, so what I've got with is uh, a, it's one of my little uh, holographic quill um, chronomids with an oversized bead. That gets it down. Then about three feet up, I've got this little cool uh, soft hackle calabatus with a copperish bead. And then way up here, I've got an unweighted uh, double renegade, basically. We call it the Boyd Special. Tutorial on that one. Uh, should be released. And then, uh, like I said, midge tip line. And I've got a total of about 17, 16, 17 feet a liter. This is not a super deep lake, so I uh, don't need a mega long liter. But I use that bottom dropper, uh, the point fly, to get the rig down. And then wherever you start catching fish, that's kind of where you focus your efforts. Let's get another one. So one thing that's worth mentioning, I've I actually caught that fish over an area that I had kicked already, which I usually don't do. I like to throw into a spot I haven't kicked. So the wind's blowing against my back so that can push me forward a little to cover more fish. And so just like we do with a lot of midge tip stuff, we're just letting it get down. There we go. I switched my point fly to a uh, lemon lime chronomids. The whole rig was just going down too quick. So I was hanging up on the bottom more than I wanted. So this is a second cast with that fly. Link below in the description. A decent chunker. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice fish. And he took the little lemon lime chronomid. That thing's killer. Guess they want it on the paws. Man, these fish pull hard. Whoa. So that's just the standard soft tackle calabatus, but I put a squirrel soft tackle on it instead of partridge. Because I'm kind of mad at partridge right now, because one tying session I'm already out of all my good 14. So, squirrel it is. Anyway, using a parabolic line, I have a fab at the point, and I've got a Dialbach in the middle, and my top dropper is the Calabatus. And they're either eating the fab or the Calabatus. I don't think my fly line is supposed to look like that.
embarrassing fish. Yeah, look at that fly. What a dumb fly. Another nice brookie. I guess he didn't want to show off for the camera. And this fish looks like he took one of the droppers. He's mad. He's mad at me. This is where it helps to have a little bit of a gut. That's pretty much why I do it. So I can rest the rod, the fighting butt fighting butt gut it's really what it's called it's for your health yeah he took the uh boyd guyman double renegade special dang that fly is magic brook trout square tail blue halos Nice fish. We'll see what he took. Or she. Oh, decent fish. What do you know? A silver lancer. It's actually my first fish on it today. Nice fish. Oh, don't go out the hole. It's a splake. Oh, not bad. Got some nice red spots in it. All right, goodbye, little splake. Oh, there we go. It's because he's a little bit of a toad. Man, dude, it's a chunker. Oh, he took that calabatus. Man, that's a fat fish. This little uh, calabatus pattern. And he's gone. Doesn't feel like a very big one. <laughs> oh, you dumb fish. Why would you eat that fly? This is the new block jelly. Block jelly fab, right in the face. Yeah, I wouldn't want to show your face either, fish. Rookie mistake. Right in the corner pocket. pretty bright fly and he chose to eat that over two prime calabatus nymphs mm. and this holds a little deeper so I'm giving it some time to get down Start pulling it in. As the wind blows me out of position, <laughs> didn't matter. Fish was dumb enough to eat my fly anyway. Little guy.
back at it after that little guy got in the way. And there's more fish rising in there. I'm fishing in the shallower side, so it's not going to get down as deep. There we go. <laughs> They're just in there thick. This ain't fair. It's another fat one. And he took the silver lancer. Jeez. Don't have a cow, man. Whoa. Oh. Nude mistake letting go of my line. He's about had it. Boom. He still likes to flip me in the face. Well, skinny splake, but decent. Goodbye. <coughs> there we go. And he took the calabatus. Come here, buddy. Wow. Blake, man, he's bright. Not the biggest guy, but that's some good color. Well, I didn't turn the camera on, but this is a tank. Man, look at that thing. It's large and in charge. All right, back he goes. monster energy beverage without an interruption. These fish are like my kids. Two, three. That's it. That's where he maxed out. He's like, I'm a brookie, but just barely. Same on the other side. Oh my gosh. Grow some spots, bro. 
Well, I didn't hit record on this one, but it's got some nice colors. Look at that. Holy moly. Solid reds, orange on the belly. Goodbye, Mr. Brookie. All right. No, I got a tangle like a big dummy. Well, like that. Oh my gosh. I'm not even trying here. I just cast out and I had a tangle on my line. Pick it up. There's a fish. Now, this is easy enough. Lance could probably catch some today. Although he's taking one for the team and he's in the shop. There we go. Come on, sucker. Yeah. Not small. Mr. Splake, I appreciate you. Goodbye. Creamer, how was it? Very good. Did you catch some lake trout? Char, technically, I guess. Yeah. Splake, brook trout. You come at me with a camera as soon as I shove food in my mouth. I know, that was my plan. Nice. You told me that you were going to do it. I know. Personal best brook trout today. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, the fishing was really, really good to start out. We started with some spruce moths. Kind of uh, went back and forth a little bit. These guys fished midge tips and smaller nymphs, and I threw blobs and fabs and all kinds of heathen, like nasty flies, and got them to eat. So, anyway, another one in the books with Mr. Creamer from Ohio. Hey, do you mind if I just take a picture of you real quick so I can remember you? Don't do that. <laughs> if you know Jeff, ask him the story about that. He almost got murdered on the trail the other day. What?